or Kent here. Not been on for a while, couple of weeks. Well, probably about three weeks actually. Um, thought I would um, do a catch up today. Not a lot going off really. Um, I think on the last one I was shown where I've cleaned this out. Put my gravel back. Well, a couple of weeks ago I um, oh, cleared all this. Look, this is looking better. Put some seed down and made that better. And this now I have took all the plants out again and I've put them in these big troughs and I've took the plastic that was in there because it's had loads of muck in it settled so I'm going to try it this way and I'm going to keep it more or less um, redundant for the winter so the plants just keep wet and then hopefully the roots will get in this has started to grow already <laughs> that sprouted but the, the, um, the frost will soon knock that off so this is turned off now and I've got my um, return going. So that's that. Garden's looking a bit sharper. I've got more motivation now. So I've done all this. So yeah, pleased with that. So that's that. Koi looking good. Water's about dropping to, well, about 13 degrees at the moment. 14, something like that. The pond's well insulated fish still having a little bit of food fish are looking good water's looking good now one of the main things I want to um, mention today was like I say just to give you an update of what I'm doing and I'm still a lot I'm still you know here still alive um, and on being alive it's a sad day today um, most people in the koi world will know Peter Waddington, also known as Waddy. Um, basically, Peter was a koi hobbyist, like us all, and then that evolved into, you know, showing koi. He had koi champions, importing koi, being a koi dealer. And then that going into infiltration and filtration. And he actually was, well, you could say a pioneer if you like in filtration. And, you know, the vortexes and these multi bays and stuff that we see today all stem from the work, you know, and the things that he did and the brain and the thought of his, you know, actions and ideas come to fruition and you know and then it developed into the Eric filter and um, horizontal flow so the water going down up down up and all this stuff or up and triangular he you know found out that water of course generally doesn't you know, well, the water doesn't travel down does it? it's gravity it travels you know, across like a river so it's a sad day why is it a sad day well because Peter's um, succumb to an illness the dreaded sea he's been suffering for quite a few months now um, and up until about I'd say a week ago he was plugging away still you know himself on YouTube, um, on Facebook, and things like that. But about four days ago, five days ago, he vanished, and obviously took a turn for the worst. And his wife, Hilary, posted a few hours ago that he died yesterday at um, four o'clock. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's sad news. I feel a bit choked actually talking about him. Um, over the over the years, probably five years now, I've had quite a lot of um, interaction with him. Like many, some good, um, some not so good. <laughs> He's a character. Um, 
but I always we always had a mutual respect somehow. I'm not one of them people that will fall out with people and I hold them to it. I get over it. Um, and what is humour? It comes across, or did come across, sadly, very abrupt and sometimes very rude. But I've always liked him. I've always had a soft spot. I've always got his humour. Took it with a pinch of salt. And I will really, really miss him. I never met the guy, um, but I've had a long, you know, lots of chats with him, like many people have. And with due respect, he will touch, or has touched, a lot of people's lives, and he will never be forgotten. Never be forgotten. He'll live forever in our minds, in our koi, in our filters. Um, in Japan everything that we do almost revolves around Koi some of the, the books he's produced have been absolutely fantastic um, and the passion he had for Koi cannot ever be forgotten or ever um, disregarded I'll have the utmost respect for him and I ha well I have had and still will have for him um, so yeah, it's a it's a sad day for the Koi world and his family. So you know, my arts go out to um, his wife and his family and every and all the Koi friends he's, he's got will be um, you know thinking about him and thinking about the loss and thinking about the times, the good times, all the bad times, the bad with him. So that's it from me this week. Um, winter is definitely coming. Koi going to definitely be less active. Like I say, I've been doing some tidying up. And what I want to do with this week's video, like I say, just give you an update. Um, but I want to use it as a mark of respect for Peter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spin the video and I'm going to have a minute of silence or a couple of minutes of silence just watching the koi because this is what, you know, Peter was all about. So ending on a positive note, life ends but in some ways it's a beginning. So... Thanks for watching. I know it's a bit somber, but it's um, definitely worth marking. So I'm going to spin the camera, watch the koi for a minute or two, and then um, see you next time. Keep your chins up. Look after yourselves. Look after your family. Life is short. Enjoy your koi.